Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I finally have another rankings video, one that many of you guys have been asking for. I'm ranking all of my Tom Ford quads. Now, something to keep in mind is that I know you can always buy Tom Ford quads that have been discontinued everywhere. So I am featuring a lot of Tom Ford quads that are discontinued. So I will link to all the places that I know you can buy Tom Ford quads, but a lot of the discontinued ones you can find on Saturday. Saks Off Fifth, Cosmetic Company Outlets, and places like that. You can also, I'm sure, find them on places like Mercari, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about as well. But since the last video, my collection has actually depleted a little bit. As you know, I moved away from my mother's collection, so she actually held on to a lot of the good ones. She has the coveted. Coco Mirage, I don't have that. So if my collection's a little different, that's why. But nonetheless, I still have 21 quads to rank from worst to best. I have a very toxic relationship with Tom Ford palettes. I either love them or I hate them. So this one is going to be interesting. Whether or not you think $89 for Tom Ford quads are worth it, I continue to buy them anyways. I totally understand if you don't think they're worth it. Let's get into it. Number 21, the absolute worst Tom Ford palette that I have ever tried. A lot of you guys are going to know what one this is. Naked Pink. I have never been so disappointed in a Tom Ford quad. This literally gives me nothing. I get no color, no pigment. The only saving grace to this quad is this one right here. But it's just a matter of principle. And I just don't like that he charged. $89 for something that literally gives us nothing. You can argue this is for fair people. It's supposed to be subtle. Like, no. No. Not for $89. Don't ever, ever, ever buy this. They're having trouble selling this. If you do want it, you can probably find it at the cosmetic company store because they certainly are not selling them because they suck. Number 20 is the badass quad excuse my language but that's what it's called blame tommy tom this swatch is really really pretty but the formulation here is very odd it's almost sticky like i've never come across a formula like this from tom ford it's so sticky that it doesn't apply smooth to the eyelid it looks really really patchy your best bet with this palette is to use your fingers like this shade right here is pretty it's with the darker shades that it looks quite patchy on the eye so you can make this work you can get a pretty look but again thinking at the price point it's just too messy it's too patchy the formula is odd i can't get behind this one Number 19 i have arabesque looks like this this one had so much potential it's such a basic color story but it is underwhelming <laughs> this matte shade right here gives you almost nothing the shimmer shades are already hard panned and they just again they're very very sheer you just can't get a look that is worth the price point and i'm a fan of subtle eyeshadows so don't throw that at me i love subtle eyeshadows i can see the beauty in them but for this quad it really isn't cutting it i find it hard to get a look with this that my skin like my eyelid doesn't show it through. It's just an odd formulation for the colors and an odd pigmentation for the colors. And for me, I, I just don't like it. 18, I have Golden Mink. I believe this one is quite popular, but I have the same feelings as I do with Arabesque. It's a little better. Like I do like the brown a little bit, but it still is underwhelming. It's just underwhelming. And I feel like the looks that you get with this are very pretty. Don't get me wrong. I can see why people like this. It's just for the price point what you can get from Tom Ford is better than this. So this one again is not my favorite. It just doesn't give me enough. Now something to keep in mind though is I did buy a number of these palettes from the cosmetic company store so there really is no saying to what age these might be. So that could also be a reason for some of these being less pigmented and less dry but I can only speak on my experience alone. 17, I have Coquette. This one is fairly new. Again, it just didn't give me what I wanted. I feel like this matte right here, it's not a matte, it's a satin, but the shade was a little patchy. It never quite looked smooth on my eyelid when I put it on. The look that you get is pretty with this. It's quite underwhelming, nothing really special, but yeah, I just, I don't like this one that much. I was disappointed by this one. Number 16, I have Disco Desk right here. And now is the turning point 
to wear all of these palettes definitely can get you a pretty look. They just have to land somewhere. And again, it's he, Tom Ford's formula in some palettes, There's he has a thing where some of his mattes just look patchy. This one looks a little patchy. It's a little powdery and messy. Again, the look that you can get is pretty, but honestly, I'm not even the biggest fan of these colors together. So this is more so of a color story issue. It's not bad, but right off the bat, I can think of a color story that's similar to this that I like better, and that's Rose Topaz. So if you kind of like the vibes of this, I like the quality of Rose Topaz better. Number 15, I have Seductive Rose. You would think that this would be at the top of my list because this is kind of a color story that I'm really into. But again, it's this shade right here. It's patchy. I just don't find that acceptable for this price point. I'm not a fan of his older glimmer formulation as well. They get hard pan and over time, you just get less and less glimmer effect on the eye. And this is an older palette. So I think that's what has to do with my thoughts on this. So his formula has since been improved, but these older formulations, I... They look pretty on the eye. Here's the thing with Tom Ford. They can look as boring as ever in the pan. I can complain about how they swatch. I will even complain about how they apply, but once they are on the eyelid, and you know what I'm talking about if you've tried Tom Ford, you can't deny that they don't look gorgeous and elegant. So even though I'm talking my trash, they'll still look gorgeous on the eyes. Number 14, I have Sue Le Sable. Sue, Sue Le Sable. <laughs> so this one right here is a really a great work palette. So if you truly do love to wear subtle makeup to work, I actually do recommend this to you. It has kind of a rosier hue. To me, it doesn't stand out. I actually quite like the formulation. I just wish there was a little bit more depth. So I actually do like this quad. I don't have too much bad to say about it. The color story just isn't my favorite, which is a personal preference. Number 13, I have De La Creme, which very similar feelings to the previous palette. I like this color story a little better and I do feel like it gives me a little bit more depth. The shimmers are a little underwhelming here. And again, if you need to wear very subtle makeup to work or that's just the style of makeup you're into, I think you will really like this. I definitely am not discouraging you for picking this up. It's just not my style. I like a little extra glimmer. And believe it or not, Tom Ford is about the glimmer. Look at my eyes. I have glimmer. This doesn't, so that's why this falls where it falls, but it's actually really nice, very wearable palette. Number 12, I have Tiger Eye. This is one of the newest quads in his new cream formulation, which I do very much enjoy. This color story is a little bit bland for me. It's actually quite similar to Della Cream in how I feel about it. I do enjoy this formula and I actually used it a lot the, this previous month because I was moving and I didn't have many eyeshadows with me and I just wanted something quick and easy. So I would grab for a palette like this. I love the subtle shimmer and glow that it gives to the eyelid. It's very, very pretty, but we're starting to get towards the palettes that are really competitive that I truly love the color stories. So while I do enjoy this formula, the color story is a bit repetitive for Tom Ford, so it's towards the bottom. Number 11 is this baby right here. This one is one that you can probably get on Saks Off Fifth. I'm not sure what they have available now or the cosmetic company store. This is Starry Night. This gives such a pretty navy smoky eye. I want Tom Ford to come out with some more smoky palettes because Tom Ford, believe it or not, does come out with one of the best smoky formulas. He has a way in his formula to make the smoky smoky eye look very elegant and super easy and quick to do and this is one of them. Haven't seen him come out with a navy formula or color story in a while and this shade right here is duochrome. It is such a fun one. Unfortunately I just don't reach for it a lot. Navy is a color that I don't find to flatter very well. I just don't like it as much but this is such a fun palette and like I said Tom Ford does a mean 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 smoky palette. Number 10, I have Rose Prisme, which was not one of my favorite palettes in 2021 to come out, but honestly, it has grown on me. I think about it a lot compared to the Naked Pink, which I hated, but this one is actually pretty on the eyes. It doesn't give a lot of depth at all, but it just really gives an ethereal, glowy, rosy kind of look, which is a look that I have learned to love over the last couple of months. It's not about the depth. It's about 
about the glow and I've been enjoying that more lately so this has crawled up for sure it would have been towards the bottom like three or four months ago but I've given in to that style and that look number nine is Noah Fum, Fume excuse me if I'm mispronouncing these but this one is a beautiful cotoned neutral palette the formulation in here doesn't have much glimmer or shimmer which is the formula that I do enjoy from Tom Ford and it's not the wet to dry formula but this is just a solid neutral palette to reach for typically when I use this I like to grab into another palette of his for something a little bit more glimmery but it's really really nice a nice staple palette to have number eight is rose topaz this is the palette that I was talking about that I think is just a better version of disco dust this is his new cream formulation and I did not like this palette I was not moved by it really when I first tried it but the once the look is complete on the eyelid it is so stunning it's such a pretty cool toned smoky eye that is so easy to do and it just looks effortless but still so sophisticated and smoky so I really do actually enjoy this one a lot more now I don't think it's a must-have from Tom Ford but it's another one that has certainly grown on my list number seven insolent rose this is one I didn't like it at first this is a pattern with Tom Ford I don't like it at first but then I wear it a few times and I love the look so much I'm wearing this one right now it gives such a pretty subtle like rosy mauve kind of look I love the glimmer shade right here I lusted after this one for a long time I would swatch it all the time in Sephora and I finally got it and I really really like this one so if you do love the more subtle wearable pinky mauvey looks I think you will enjoy this one if you enjoy the sophistication of a Tom Ford palette. I have the glimmer all over my eyelid. It looks really pretty and sparkly. I love this white shade right here to just brighten up the eye. This one is a very pretty one. Number six, Titanium Smoke. This is one of the limited edition palettes, but this is definitely one of the best smoky palettes I have ever come across. The black in here is insane and the thing with Tom Ford smoky palettes that make them so special is how effortless it is to get a look that looks like you spent a lot more time than you did. You can pretty much get a smoky eye with this palette with your eyes closed. So if you like smoky eyes and you happen to run across this one, I totally recommend it, but you definitely need to like smoky eyes. Number five is Metallic Denim. This is a semi-new palette. This one is very, very pretty. So it's Tom Ford's wet dry formulation so you can use the formula wet or dry and it's just really pretty very easy to work out again another great smoky palette from Tom Ford I love this formula which is why it's ranking on the higher end I love this pop of grayish blue and this neutral taupe another quad that I really really enjoy this one came out with Rose Prisme the one that I did not like at all and then I like it now I've always liked this one number four is one of the brand new ones that you can still get I highly recommend it if you you love a shimmery eyelid this is the Tom Ford obviously <laughs> quad in lava luster and it's just a quad of a brand new formulation that just came out and it's Tom Ford's best glitter formulation yet I hope he never goes back to his old glimmer formulation and only uses this because it is so stunning so metallic so glimmery super sophisticated at the same time you have some duo chromes in here as well so this is the perfect palette to reach for when you need a little bit of shimmer just to pop on the eye. It is perfection. I know Beautylish right now, maybe not right now when this video is posted, but hopefully it is, has their gift card event going on where if you spend $100, they'll send you a $20 gift card and you can spend multiple of hundreds and then they'll send you multiple of $20 gift cards. This is something that I would totally recommend you looking into because I believe these were limited edition. So once they're gone, they're gone. Number three is First Frost. This is from the Holiday Collection, I believe in 2020. And this is one of Tom Ford's most beautiful palettes that he has ever launched. I love this formulation and I love these colors. The chocolates and the pink and the white, they are just so stunning. I don't know, I just really love this one. It's one of his best. It's absolutely beautiful. You can no longer get it, but if you're able to find it somewhere, totally pick it up. If if you're interested it's stunning number two is daydream this is one that I cut you guys a lot of you guys to buy 
because they were on super sale for such a long time. But this is one of the prettiest, most unique purple quads ever. It's one of my favorite purple palettes ever. I do not have a purple palette that has these particular tones of purples. And not only that, but these purples are done so well. Again, it's that wet dry formula. I don't know why Tom Ford doesn't just have this formula. It's phenomenal. They blend so easily. They look so smooth. It's the easiest purple eye that you will ever get. Highly recommend this if you're into purples. It's something worth searching for, I'm telling you, and you don't even need to pay a full price for it because you can totally find it for $44, $45. All right, that brings us to number one. It is another brand new quad, but in my opinion, Tom Ford has not shot himself in the foot with this one. <laughs> this is the Metal Lust palette, and I just need every palette to be this formulation from now on. So it's that new glimmer formulation that I was talking about with Lava Luster, and then you just have two really, really solid mattes. They're those matte formulations that are so smooth and creamy, and they're so versatile because you can apply just a little bit to get a lighter crease color, but you can also use that same color and build it up, and it literally looks looks like multiple shadows on your eyelid. This sold out super fast. It's really hard to get a hold of. I don't even know that it's available anymore. But if, if you also like cool tone neutrals, which is my color story of choice, I know you will love this. I love cool tone neutrals. So this is the ideal everyday palette for me. It's the Tom Ford palette that I felt the most excited about in such a long time. And the formula is king. So there we have it, you guys. That was my 2022 rankings of the 21 Tom Ford quads that I have in my collection. If I filmed this on a different day, they'd probably rank different, differently. That's just how it went. And I get a lot of flack for buying Tom Ford and also talking a lot of crap about Tom Ford because I continue to buy his stuff. But I'm telling you, when I love his stuff, I love it and also it's kind of fun to be able to have some things to talk trash about on my channel. I'm not gonna lie, okay? It's my job and I have fun with it. If you don't want to spend $89 on a Tom Ford palette, I totally get it, but I do recommend if you want to try his stuff to start looking in places like Saks Off Fifth and Cosmetic Company Store. That's where I've seen the best deals on his palettes. You can literally get them for 50% off. It's a great way to try the brand if you're interested. If you're not, save your coins. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Let me know your favorite and least favorite Tom Ford quads down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.